Girl City and today is going to be another review. At ang i-review -re natin ngayong araw ay ang pinakbagong release from Happy Skin. And this one is in collaboration with Catherine Bernardo. Yesterday was the official launch nitong line niya with Happy Skin sa Mega Mall. And nagkataon na doon kami. So, so I was able to see her personally and yes guys, ang ganda talaga ni Catherine Bernardo. So sa line na ni-release ni Catherine with Happy Skin, meron silang powders, mascara, lipstick, lip tints. But I specifically want to talk about lip tints dito sa video na to. Um, I was able to get two of the lip tints. So yun yung magiging focus ng review natin today. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. But first, if you're not familiar with Happy Skin, um, it's actually a local brand. So Filipino brand siya. Pero yung prices nila is pretty up there. So parang sa local scene or sa local makeup scene, sila yung high-end na, na brand. Yeah. But for this collaboration, chinek ko yung prices nila. And actually, kahit collaboration siya with a famous Filipino actress, yung prices nila, binabaan talaga nila. If I'm not mistaken, dito sa collection ni Catherine, ang pinakamura lang is around 500 pesos. Good job na ginawa nilang affordable to kahit na in collaboration siya with an artista. Kasi usually, mas nagmamahal yung items kapag meron kadikit na pangalan ng sikat na tao or sikat na artista. Now, let's talk about the pinaka packaging. Ito pala yung bag na makakuha nyo every time that you purchase from Happy Skin. So guys, when you purchase the lip tints, ito yung itsura ng pinaka outer packaging. Yung pinaka box niya. It's actually really pretty. It's in pink. And lahat ng information na kailangan mo about the product is written here sa pinaka box. So you have the name of the product. By the way, it's called the Generation Happy Skin Kiss and Bloom Water Lip and Cheek Tint. You have the shades. Tapos, nandito yung pinaka claims ng product. And then here, nandito yung ingredients and how to use. Tapos, nandito rin yung pinaka price niya. It's written here with the barcode kung saan siya gawa and sino yung nag-manufacture. And then, yung shades pala na kinuha ko are Dainty and Fearless. Si Dainty is part of the pink family and then si Fearless is a red shade. When you open the actual box, ganito yung pinaka-itsura niya. Ayan. So, pa-box type yung pinaka-component and then sa harap, makikita mo yung product name. It comes with a doe foot applicator. Gusto ko actually yung doe foot applicator niya kasi hindi siya ganun kalaki. So, yon Mas precise yung paggamit. Pasensya na kayo if biglang dumilim kasi I think puulan na any minute. I tried to open my lights pareho just so we can see the products pa din. Yung pinaka-scent niya para siyang Jelly Ace. I like it. Dito sa pinaka-product mismo nakalagay din yung shade. So, hindi kayo malilito in case na itapon nyo yung pinaka-box. And I also like the feel of the packaging. It's in matte pink. It's so nice. It's something na you're not gonna be shy to bring with you anywhere kasi ang cute lang niya. Pero medyo bulky lang yung lalagyan. But I really like it. So guys, I forgot to mention kanina na this product is 6.5 ml. So it's a full-size tin. Uh, you're getting double nung Vice Cosmetics. Pero kasi ito guys is priced at 299 pesos. For me personally, I think yung 299 pesos is mahal na for a tint. Kasi sa market, yung mga tints nag-range from 80 pesos to 199 pesos karamihan. Knowing Happy Skin and their usual price range, hindi na ako masyadong nagulat na above 200 siya. But also, I'm, I'm quite surprised na hindi siya 349 pesos because I was expecting it to be at least 350 pesos. So, ito try natin tong tint na to kung worth it nga ba siya for 299 pesos. So, I'm gonna be trying the pink shade first. I'm gonna be taking Dainty. Ayan. So, ito yung swatch ni Dainty. On cam, medyo reddish siya. Pero as it sets, nagiging pink siya. Yung formula niya is liquidy. It's not jelly whatsoever. Unlike nung Vice Cosmetics na lip tint na pag sinwatch mo siya, you can already tell na it's jelly. Ito, liquid siya talaga. I'm gonna be putting it here dito sa inner corners ng lips ko muna. So, we can try and see kung ano yung niya kapag medyo gradient-gradient yung effect. 
So Yan, so there you go. Ito yung itsura ni Dainty after na ilagay ko siya dito sa inner corners. And I actually really like it. It applied really nicely. Kanina I said na gusto ko yung doe foot applicator kasi maliit. Pero I find na medyo stiff siya ng kaunti. I still like it for precision. Pero napansin ko medyo matigas siya. It's not the most comfortable na gamitin. Pero yung pinaka product guys... I like how it laid on my lips. It's pink, pero hindi siya yung pink na, alam mong pink na pink, yung baby doll pink na hindi ko ganun kagusto when it comes to tints. I like yung mga parang pinkish red na tints. Yung shade niya is lakas maka fresh na shade din. Now, I'll try to build up the color. Gagawin ko na siya sa buong lips. So guys, ito yung itsura ni Dainty after ko siyang ilagay all over my lips and I honestly really like it. Ang ganda ng color niya, super lakas, maka-fresh. I love it. I love it so much. Initially, I was not really keen on this color. Mayroon akong isang shade pa na gusto. And shout out to my best friend Arns for choosing this color. He said na kunin ko to kasi okay daw. He chose this color for me and yeah, I like it so much. It looks so good. Yung pinaka tint, nakikita ko nagsasettle siya dito sa corners. Pero, hindi naman niya in-emphasize yung mga dry patches ko. So, if you have dry patches, maybe it's better that you scrub or you exfoliate first bago nyo ito gamitin. Kasi, like most liquid tints naman, kapag meron ka mga dry patches sa lips mo hindi ka nag-exfoliate, bago mo siya gamitin, talaga magsasettle siya Pero hindi siya weird. Hindi super weird unlike other na merong kalat-kalat na patches dito. Dito lang siya sa may loob. Maybe because we tried the Korean Radiant Lip kanina. Kaya meron siya or namuo yung product dito sa, um, sa inner corners. Pero it looks so good in person guys. First impression, okay sa akin tong color na dainty. Now, try naman natin tong isang color. Ito yung color na gustong-gusto ko nang sinwatch ko pa lang. This one is called Fearless. And ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na Blood Red. Yan. As you can see, si Fearless is parang blood or burgundy red. Nung naswatch ko pa lang siya sa Happy Skin Booth, I, I already fell in love. Pero titingnan pa rin natin how it translates sa lips kung maganda ba siya kasi hindi naman lahat ng swatches nagta-translate ng ganun din kapag nasa labi na siya. So, I'm gonna try to take off dainty and wear fearless naman on my lips. So, guys, ito yung itsura ni fearless after siyang ilagay dito sa inner corners ng labi. And I love it. I love this shade so much. Pag nag-set na si Fearless, yung undertone niya is more on the purplish side. So, parang purplish na dark red yung dating niya. So, now, ilalagay ko siya sa bang labi to see kung ano yung pinaka-isura niya. Kasi, dun pa lang sa inner corners, gustong-gusto ko na siya. So guys, ito yung itsura ni Fearless after ko siyang i-apply sa buong labi. Since mas dark yung color ni Fearless, mas halata nung namumuo na siya dito sa my inner corners. Ayan, kita mo na na merong separation yung colors. Pero very pigmented itong Fearless. Ayan, nag-set na siya completely. Wala nang basang area, pero purplish red pa rin yung kulay niya. Unlike kapag ibang tint na nawawala halos yung buong kulay sa labas. And then dito na lang. Since tapos na natin silang i-test at i-apply sa lips, ito try naman natin sila sa cheeks. And for the cheeks, I'm gonna be using Dainty since I already have fearless lips. 
So, let's see if it's blendable. Kanina, sinet ko lang ng onting-onti yung parts ng face ko na nilagyan ko ng concealer. Pero, dito sa cheeks, it's still pretty dewy. So, it's still okay to apply this tint. And also, tingnan natin if blendable ba sila. So, I'm gonna be taking dainty and I'll be applying three dots muna para hindi tayo mabigla. So, one, two, and three. Let's blend it out. Drunk blush na ba? Ayan guys. Lasing baka mo. Ayan. Ayan. Hindi. Mukhang hindi drunk blush. Parang sinampal look yung lumabas. Ayan. So medyo na parami yung lagay ko. So wag nyo akong gagalahin. Make sure that you put just a tiny amount and build up to the intensity that you like. Kasi ayan. Mukha tayong pinagsasapak ng sampung nanay. Guys, sinet ko lang siya with a powder and para mabawasan yung intensity niya kasi feeling ko sobrang dami ko nalagay kanina. Then, I also try to contour back para may definition ng konti yung face and apply some highlight. And, it's awesome. I really like how it turned out. Ang ganda ng dainty. Although, I feel like kailangan yung mabilis din mag-blend. Kasi kanina, while I was talking nung ina-apply ko siya and hindi ko siya na-blend agad. May para ko nakitang nag-settle dito sa part na to. And also here, some parts here. So, kailangan mabilis kayo. Once you put it, make sure to blend agad para hindi siya magkaroon ng weird na stains or parang patches. Kung gusto mo lang i-try itong Lipid Chic Tint from Happy Skin and pipili ka lang ng isang shade, um, I think it's better to get dainty kasi it works well with cheeks and sa lips. Medyo dark kasi si Fearless sa lips. So, I think pag nilagay nyo siya sa cheeks, parang sobrang intense na niya. Pero, depende pa rin yun sa preference nyo. I can only speak dito sa shades na nakuha ko from that line. But, overall, I really like the both of them. Value for money, 299 I know is not cheap. Um, kumpara sa ibang lip tints. Pero kung meron kang budget and gusto mong supportahan si Catherine or gusto mong itry to personally or itry yung formula ni Happy Skin, I think 299 is not bad at all. Pwede mo siyang pagtipunan and uh, ngayon na try ko na sila, I can say na worth it naman sila. They're not bad at all. I really like the shades that I got from this collection. Of course, the lips, like I said, kailangan mo talagang mag-moisturize and mag-exfoliate um, before using them kasi water tints to. And magsisettle talaga siya sa lips mo, sa dry patches mo, pag hindi ka nag-take ng extra step to take off yung mga flaking na parts ng lips mo or yung mga dry patches mo. Sa cheeks naman, you have to make sure that you blend it quickly. And pa unti onti lang yung lagay kasi pigmented to mga tints na to. So, onting-onti muna and then build up to the intensity that you like. Kasi mas okay na magdagdag ng product kaysa try mong bawasan yung intensity niya kapag nasa face mo na siya. So, those are basically my thoughts dito sa Lip and Cheek Tint from Kathleen Bernardo X Happy Skin Collection. And if you like this video, please make sure to click the thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will also appreciate if you can ring the bell beside it para notified ka sa mga susunod kong videos. And makita kita tayo on the next one. As always, may all have clear skin and happy hearts. Thank you so much for watching!